Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII. We are going to go into the Dark Ruins. Again, we are not strong enough to finish the Dark Ruins, or at least in my belief, we are not strong enough to finish them. Maybe in some miracle world it could happen, but... Uh, so, what we will be doing, though, is we'll be cleaning it out of items and, and stuff like that. And working it out so there's a pretty straight path. Not that it matters, and we'll see why it doesn't really matter. I mean, like, although, I mean, having, well, it matters, because there are a lot of puzzles, and, like, solving the puzzles will make it easier when we come back. But it's not going to matter, because, like, when I come back, I'm going to cut to where we leave off anyway. I'm not going to make you watch me do this twice. I'm making you watch enough BS as it is. So. All right. And we already talked to that guy. He's a jerk. Okay. Blood mummies! Those are my favorite kind of mummies. Okay. There may have been some noise there. I was kind of adjusting my microphone. Alright. Jessica casts a boom. These mummies are dead. Maybe some sort of fire thing would be better against mummies. You know, like in... I don't know every other game that's ever been made. Except Castlevania. Like, Castlevania, you know, like, the original one, it, fire wouldn't help you. I, is there even a fire weapon in the original Castlevania? I don't know. I mean, I never got good enough in Castlevania. Like, when I was a kid, I couldn't platform in that game for crap. Like, I couldn't stay on. Like, I couldn't keep from falling to my death. Like, I was watching some LPs of it, and I'd never seen, like, the fifth and sixth worlds in it. So. Oh, no, this is the only door. Okay, I thought there was supposed to be a door in the other corner, but there is not. So, so much for options. Oh, here's another one of those guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh I felt it for the first time in what seems like an eternity. I felt the power of Rapthor near me. But my lack of physical form prevents me from seeing the Lord of Darkness. Could it really have been him? Could he have returned to us? Alright. That guy is excited. Okay, this is the biggest pain in the ass we're ever going to have to deal with. Or at least going to have to deal with in this video game. So, what we're going to do is... What, what it is is these walls obviously drop, but they also act as walkways. Alright. I am looking at what I need to do, so just bear with me, please. Please. Please bear with me, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Sorry, I'm sorry if that offended you. Oh yeah, you shaped hallway. That's our... That's the key to this, apparently. The U-shaped hallway. It's actually kind of a circle and the reason is so we can go around here and, uh... and now still get back. Let's see. Right. It's not... This map is not good at showing us kind of what we need to do and where we need to go. It's a problem. So... Anywho, how's everybody doing? What well, great vertical sandwich, everything's great. Everything's fine, we love everything. Everything? You love everything? Well, not puppies, they're disgusting. Who doesn't love puppies? We don't love puppies. Oh. That was too far? Was it too far? Too far. I, uh, I, I, I don't know, I picked puppies because, uh, puppies. Who doesn't love puppies? Even if you don't like dogs, you love puppies. So. What a weird thing to have a phobia about, though, now that I think about it. Like, what if you were deathly afraid of puppies? You know? Oh, those guys on the right are going to be trouble. They're not taking any damage. Well, I mean, they take damage, but... That, you know what? That's one thing that this game never does. Like, it doesn't do... Like a monster who can't be physically attacked. Something like that. Anyway, we're going to psych up our main character uh, for good reason. And that's that I know with the more advanced versions of these monsters, 
that it's the only way to kill them. That for some reason, at, at the next tension level up, it's like their defense drops to zero. So we'll see if that's true with these guys. Well, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I mean, we did a lot of damage, but like, I don't know that we would have done any more damage any other way. Or I don't know. And what I is what I'm saying making sense? I probably not. How do we get over like? Okay, obviously. All right, up here. No, that doesn't do anything. That's not gonna get us where we need to go. I mean, this will get us to the last switch. Oh, this will let us out. Okay, and then we'll have to put that other one back down. Got it. Got it. Not a problem. Not a problem. We're cool. I just. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be hell to get to these treasure chests. I have to put this one back up, but then where do we get on this little this roller coaster ride? God, this map is no help. It's no help. At all. Zero help. I call foul on that map. Foul. Is that a thing? Can I do that? I call shenanigans on the map. Oh yeah, it's all the way over here, right where we came in. Of course it is. Of course it is. If you want the treasure chest, you gotta run the gauntlet. All right. Okay. Oh, there's two of them over here. Well, that I think is actually. Um, there's only three in the whole dungeon, so. Dragon scale. So that's where you get the other dragon scale if you wanted to make Jessica's whip. And a mini metal. And mini metals are always nice. We like them. We like them. They're cool. Ooh, this is like this is gonna be a fight. This will be some good experience anyway. I forgot to heal everybody. Ugh. Who am I kidding? I'm no good at this. You know, I say that, but I haven't gotten a game over yet. Like, not since, the, well, since that first dungeon. Ugh. So. Although it is, it's notoriously hard to produce failure in an RPG unless you just are blindly running into stuff you shouldn't be doing. Like, if you know the game and you know what's expected of you, you know, and I can't play an RPG any other way. Like, I can't play an RPG without looking up a whole bunch of crap and just making sure that, like, step by step I'm not missing anything. Because, number one, it's impossible to deal with people when you're missing, like, things. When you miss things. I learned that from Rabbids Go Home. <laughs> like, every time in a video I came close to getting a perfect level, people would just point out where I missed stuff. And, like, that's fine, but, like, I see all that stuff in editing. <laughs> like, <laughs> I get it. Um, the other thing about it, though, is that, I mean, to do an RPG well, you have to learn it. You have to. Otherwise, it's a bad RPG. Okay. Yeah, 800. Look at that. Oh, we got to level up. Awesome. Ah, six skill points. Man, we're going to max out courage pretty early in the game, I think. Kamikaze. Completely useless skill. It kills you. You sacrifice your life <laughs> to destroy enemies. I don't know how... Yeah, I don't know if that works as well as it... What was the... Where was the game... I was, I, I, there was a game I was playing where that was suggested. Like, as a solution to a problem. Um, oh, it was Final Fantasy VIII! That, like, you get a kamikaze ability at the end, and it was suggested in, uh, against sort of the bosses in, like, the final level. Like, the final castle. And I remember reading that and just going, like, that's a horrible strategy of doing that. Like, I get that it can work, but... Yeah. 
All right, so now we should be set up to get through this room, which once you know the layout of this room and you've got all these doors down, th this is not a problem. And this is, I don't, th there's not a lot to this dungeon. So. This was not what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, I gotta, you're right. Ugh. Sorry, I got myself all distracted. Forgot what was going on. Alright. Okay. There we go. That room's done. This room, a little tricky. But there's only really one path through it. It seems like there would be multiple paths. And you can navigate this one with the map. See? Because it's like a weird stairs puzzle. But like, that whole area on the right has like one treasure chest in it and it's a can of box. So... Soul spawns suddenly attacking. It's my worst nightmare. Every night I wake up in a cold sweat thinking I'm being attacked by soul spawns. Speaking of nightmares and weird phobias, like I saw a big disgusting spider today, like by spider standards. And uh, I'm not okay with that. Like I don't like that at all. I really, like, there's something about, like, I'm alright, like, I can deal with seeing them, but, like, I just, I don't like them in the house. I just don't, I don't. Like, when I work outside and stuff, I've seen scary, scary spiders. Scary stuff, especially, like, in Utah and stuff, and, like, Wyoming. There were, like, spiders in fields and stuff that we'd find, like, clinging to stuff that were just gross and huge. And one looked really alien, was just, like, crazy looking. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I just, when they're in the house, I just, I'm not okay with it. I also am not a big fan of them touching me. Although, specifically, the way that's gotta work is that, like, I've gotta not see it crawl on me and then feel it and look at it, and then I freak out. If I see it coming towards me, I can just prepare myself and, like, brush it away and stuff. All right, heal everybody. And then we'll go down. No, oh, this is taking forever. Soul spawns again, are they gonna suddenly attack? Oh my God, they did! Oh my God! It's history repeating itself. Maybe they just have really good agility. Or maybe they just have some Ability. Maybe they've fought enough people that they've earned a, an ability by plugging their own skill points into stuff that they can attack first. Does that make sense? In an RPG world, I think that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. What I'm doing. Jeez. That let, like, all of them attack. It usually doesn't do that. Are there seven of them? Seven of them. That's ridiculous. That's a that's uncalled for. And it might be trouble for us. I mean they can only do sixteen points of damage, but like one round of attacks could almost kill Jessica. Actually probably no almost kill her. Yangus. Yangus is always the first guy to fall asleep. Like if it, if it, if if anybody's gonna fall asleep, it's gonna be Yangus. We gotta get him, like, coffee. Like, just make sure Yengis always has coffee on him. Alright. So we should be able to do some damage this turn. This boomerang should cut through them like a hot knife through butter. A saying that, I guess... Seriously, a hot knife through butter? I mean, I guess a hot knife would go through, through butter really quickly, but, like, a regular knife goes through butter just fine. I don't know why anybody was ever heating up knives to make them go through butter. But. Whoa! Yangus is paralyzed. Come on, Angelo. Do some damage, man. Look at that. Seven at once. That's our record, I think. 
I think there can only be eight enemies on the screen at once, so... I think actually Jessica, maybe not on screen, but I think Jessica has killed eight enemies at a time. Um, with Bang. So if you go this way, you get the third, tre the, the last treasure chest in the dungeon. And it's an urn of saints ashes, which is cool. So. Uh, saints ashes, by the way, like, again, they're going to become readily available to us later because of our strategy. In general, they're a pain in the butt item. They are a pain in the butt. Ah! I've been yawning a lot during recordings. I don't like it. I could do without yawning during recordings. We'll also see, I should mention, like, uh, this, I'm, um, I'm using a boost command on my, on my microphone. It's really weird. Actually, kind of like, trying to solve some problems through my voice just a little louder so I can get the volume of these videos up just a little bit. So we'll see if it works. It may actually also amplify the white noise and stuff bad enough that... But we'll see. I don't know. Anyway. So down these stairs we go, and actually this will take us into the last room of the dungeon, essentially. And there are no enemies in this room, so you can take your time here. Alright. Woo woo! Inside lies the holy altar darkness, the dais built in honor of our great lord. Only those who have struck the wings of Imperia, the hateful bird depicted on the wall, are permitted to approach the lord of darkness. But we spirits have lost all physical substance. I cannot hope to move the demon statues. Oh, what cruel fate. Okay. So anyway, there are these statues. And they have buttons by them. And if you step on the buttons, the statues will move. They will move by walking. Which means... I don't, I don't under, well, you know what, I don't know what it means, but what I don't understand is the minute you step on the button, they should run away, because they'd be free. But... Anyhow, and then there's this obvious bird in this picture, and you have to shoot these lasers at its wings. That's it. That's the solution to this puzzle. All right. So now I'll watch this guy march, and he's decidedly different. Actually, when we talked about Spike... Like, the one that we stepped on first, that was Spike, and this is the other one in that team that I was talking about. And, we'll, again, we'll see them later, so. All right, we did it. We, we struck the bird, or whatever. I know, it's so impressive, like, but it doesn't really... I mean, it, keep, it makes the bird look like that, which is kind of cool. But then it just drops the stairs. That's the climax to the sequence of events. Is Oh, we got stairs. Alright, so now, two things, and then we're out of here. If we talk to this guy again, he says something different. Thank you, thank you! You've attacked the accursed bird Inferia for me! Thank you! I can feel the Lord Rapsorn's resurrection is not. Lead us to the darkness, my lord! Alright, anywho. You go down here, and on the right, there's a spring. Heals all your hit points and magic points. If you go down that hall, you have to fight the boss. So. Um, alright. That is essentially all we're really going to do with the Dark Ruins for now. I gotta grind for some levels, people. I'm at level 28. I'd like to be, you know, right, like I said, around 30. So. And Angela's only at 26. It's bad news. Bad news. So, uh, I'm going to do some grinding. I'll probably do it off camera. If anything interesting is going to happen or I'm going to do anything interesting, I'll put it into a video or something. And uh, you guys take care.